Well, back in those days, it was a lot of sheep, a lot of cattle. In the 1930s, the winter snows that blanket the ground in the Mancos Valley were crucial for farmers. Snow melt in the spring provided the only reliable source of water, and even that didn't last long. The Mancos River basically would dry up about 1st of July. Crops that didn't need a lot of water were the order of the day. And one farmer, Grady Clampett, took a chance on some special Canadian wheat. In 1935, he decided to import some marquee wheat, which had been grown in Canada, and it was specifically genetically altered or whatever for high altitude um, areas like the Mancos Valley. And if you're gonna raise wheat, you're gonna need a grain elevator. It's always been a landmark. I can remember as a little kid, people parked out here on the highway painting it. Its construction is somewhat unique in southwest Colorado. Two befores are laid flat and lapped on top of each other. This is the cleaner. Inside, the original the elevator the machinery sits ready for its next crop. This is the blower ventilation system. If you could put it in production today, it would probably do the job that it was meant to do. Oddly, the elevator only did that job for a few short years due to the special wheat that Grady Clampett planted. And after a very few years, uh, was so successful, he had the only bumper crop of wheat in the valley, and he retired and moved to town, sold the farm and moved away. <laughs> the elevator fell silent. The people that bought this property here, I believe it got broke up into smaller chunks. In 1959, Gary Kennedy's father purchased one of those chunks, the one with the elevator. They really didn't have a purpose for the elevator itself. It was just a big empty building, this is really what, it, what he used it for. As a result, the building saw little in the way of maintenance. For them to upkeep buildings, you only really worried about the ones that you had to have and use. Gary tried once to fix the roof, but his dad balked at the prospect. But he looked at it and he says, no, I don't want to do anything up there because there was a nest of big horned owls living in it. Pigeons have replaced the owls. That was close. <laughs> and as they knock snow off the deteriorating roof, it becomes evident that something has to be done. It has got the water damage on it. You can see it's pretty rotten, probably the bottom 10, 15 feet of it there. A new roof and repairs to the rotten board it, would stabilize the building, but Gary, has bigger plans. Get it so we can, if people want to come and look at it, it's open for, for tours. Our future goals are my family would like to come in here, put in some small, a small store. Such a plan fits in well with the efforts of local preservationists looking to tell the history of Southwest Colorado. And this elevator tells the story of agriculture. So I think this would be a wonderful stop on those scenic byways.